Hi there, this is Anna from Anna Aspinas Designs. I am back with a brand new video tutorial. In this lesson, I want to deconstruct this digital artistry page by Barbara Houston. So I'm going to be showing you the products that she used to create the page, as well as break down this layout into individual layers so that you know how it was constructed. And the purpose of this video is really to show you how you can add different styles into your digital artistry and digital scrapbooking. And the purpose of this video is really to show you how you can blend different styles of artistry together to add visual interest to your pages. So before we get started, I am just going to go and show you the products that Barbara used. She used Artplay Palette Elysium, and this is delivered in two parts. There's a brush set, which is delivered in ABR and PNG format, so you can see all the individual files that are included with this brush set, and these can be used in both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. And then we have a variety of different dimensional elements. So the ones outside of the folders are the single layer format to which you will apply your own drop shadow layer styles. If you go within some of these folders, then you'll see that I have provided some of the elements with cast shadows, and these are available in both PNG and PSD format. And then we have a variety of 12 by 12 digital papers. Some of them are known as artsy papers and they have the designs already placed on the backgrounds. And then there are a number of solid papers to which you can apply the transfers and overlays, which are included in the second part of the palette. So there are a number of different art strokes different transfers that you can literally open in Photoshop and drag and drop onto your layouts using the move tool from the tools panel in either elements or the full version of the program. So head back and just show you there's a template. I've included a template too in which you just simply have to add the background paper and your photos and change the title and the journaling. And then we have these really cool overlays to which you can clip your images to get a perfectly blended photo. And then we have a variety of different word art. And these are all designed to be mixed and matched to create your own title clusters. So for example, you might want to add a word transfer with one of these dimensional word elements and then pair that with one of these word art titles. There's also a fun beaded threads as well if you choose to use that in one of your pages. And then finally, some more brushes. These are some great birds that you can add over your page in the color of your choosing and then apply the blending mode of your choice. And I have two different ABR files, one for Photoshop and the other one for elements or earlier versions of Photoshop that don't support the newer, larger file format. So let's go back to our Photoshop workspace and let's take a look at this layout by Barbara. So I have turned off all of the layers so that I can show you that she began with a background paper and she chose artsy paper number four from Artplay Palette Elysium. And then to that, she added one of the photo blends masks. And you can see, usually we would clip a photo to that mask for it to be blended into that background. But she did something different. She actually clipped a solid paper from the same art play palette to that clipping mask to add color and just a different direction for her design. She then built up that design using transfers and overlays. So she used a variety of different overlays from the art play palette and also some brushes and some word art. So she used a number of the different products that we've just looked at. 
So she added an art stroke overlay. Notice how the curves of the art strokes hug the design in the background. And then she added another one and she's kind of got that at opposing angles. So we have a diagonal here and a diagonal there. And I like how the art strokes support the area of the clipped mask. And then she added in additional splatters and then she added in a word transfer and she added a color burn blending mode. So if I go ahead and change that to normal, you can see that's how the element would look in its natural format. And then she applied that color burn blending mode so that the background would disappear and it provides some intensity of color over this area of interest. And then finally, she added some birds in black using the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Notice how this changes how the design looked at the beginning. She's really built that design upward to fill this white space on the canvas. Let's go ahead and turn those back on. So from here, she then added her photos. And instead of blending her image into the background, she did something really quite interesting she added some graphic elements into the mix. And she did this by creating a number of rectangles. Now, you could go ahead and create your own shapes and add a drop shadow layer style, or you could simply use the photo masks that are included in the artsy template that come with the collection. And from there, she simply clipped her photo onto that mask. And again, she did something quite interesting in that she placed a number of these masks over her canvas and then she used one single photo clipped to all of those different parts to create a whole. And this was simply done by bringing in the image, clipping it to the mask and then duplicating that image and then dragging it up as opposed to constantly bringing in that new image. This ensures that all of these lines add up and I really like the different vibe that's given by adding in that graphic component to the artsy. She then added some brushwork over the top of some of these clipped mask areas. You can see how she continued the birds over the top here and then she did the same on this one here. So the birds look like they're over the top of the image. Her next step was to embellish her layout and she did this by adding foliage from the art play palette. She also added this clip element that's included with one of the frames in the art play palette, a butterfly. Notice how she has shifted the drop shadow downwards to make it look as though the butterfly is actually in flight over the top of the layout. She also added a string and she added a glow. This is Cool Glows number one. This isn't actually included in the collection but is a much older product. But notice how that adds some color to the design and adds to the visual interest. And she applied an overlay blending mode. So in its normal format, the glow would look like that. And then she went ahead and she added the overlay blending mode. She also added some tape textures and some paper textures to add further visual interest. And then she completed the page simply by adding a title to her photo. And she could have placed this anywhere on the page, but I really like how she's unified her words with all of the other imagery on her page. Had she placed it elsewhere on the page, it wouldn't have had the same impact to draw the eye into the image. And if you're interested in learning more about type placement, then you can head over to AnnaAspinusDesigns.com. I have a brand new workshop, it's self-paced. So the materials are all ready to go as soon as you register, and it will tell you everything you need to know about creating a functional font library, managing those fonts, selecting fonts for your titles, as well as how, when, and where to place your titles, and how titles can contribute to both the story 
and the design of a page. So a really great treasure trove of information there if you want to learn more about tax design. So I really love this page by Barbara and want to thank her for sharing it with me. I just really like that contrast between the graphic nature of the straight lines and then the organic nature of the artsy supplies. So another quick tutorial today, not a complex layout, a quick and easy one that can be recreated in your version of Photoshop or Elements. Thanks for watching and I will be back in this space very soon. Take care.